11 words from the HSK test here. The character of the day is Zuo. Zuo, meaning to sit down. It's a very basic character, so it should help with our foundation of Chinese. Here we have uh, just what I'm reading off of here. I'm still working on um, getting software going so that I could start putting words back on the screen. I'm working on it. Uh, but at any rate, we got to keep studying. The first word is Zuo Sha. Zuo Sha. Uh, just basically meaning to sit down. Zuo Sit Sha. Uh, literally means down. Sha. Down. Shang. Up. Or on nextly we have chung zuo chung zuo chung zuo means to ride as a passenger in a car this word here chung it reminds me of chung ji chung ji which means to ride on a plane so this word chung is basically to uh to, to ride on, to be a passenger. And then Zuo, of course, meaning to sit down. Cheng Zuo. Cheng Zuo. Nextly, Zuo Che. Zuo Che. Uh, you can use Zuo Che whenever you're in a car, riding in a car, talking about, uh, you know, being in a car. Zuo Che, sit car. And it literally means to be in a car. Yep, ch meaning car or vehicle. In some cases, it may uh, have a connotation like machine. Zuo ch and ch has that first tone. Zuo biao, zuo biao, zuo biao is a in it's a coordinate in mathematics coordinate you know like negative four comma three uh, things like that on a graph it's a coordinate zuo lao zuo lao that zuo having that uh, that downward tone lao having an upwards tone the second tone zuo lao Zuo Lao, which means to be incarcerated in Chinese. Uh, so we have sit and I, I feel like I remember the Lao meaning to be a cage. So sitting, sitting in a cage means incarcerated in Chinese, like literally a man, though, being in prison. That Lao, uh, Lao, that is a cage, though, for an animal. So. You know, sitting in an animal's cage is incarcerated. Zuo Lao. Zuo Lao. Wei Zuo. Wei Zuo. Meaning to sit around something or sit around somebody. I don't have familiarity with the character uh, Wei. Wei. Right here. I haven't really used that character too much. Uh, so, you know, hopefully in doing this video, it'll just, it'll just, you know, kind of be in my subconscious. So when I actually do encounter a more important word using way, uh, I'll be, I already have reference. I'll be able to remember it more simple. Five more words here. Jo Zuo. Jo Zuo. Jo Zuo means to sit. Jo Zuo. We have Jing Zuo. Jing Zuo. This Jing means quiet or still. And then, you know, we have our character of the day, Zuo. So this Zuo right here, all this is saying is that you're going to sit quietly. You're going to sit in peace. It's just, uh, you know, sitting quietly. Jing Zuo.
Zuochi. Zuochi. Oh, is this Zuochi, really? One moment. I'm going to have to look that one up. But, uh, we have Zuowei. Zuowei means a seat. Zuowei means a seat. One minute. I'm I'm looking at a word here. I'm not sure if that's Zuochi or Zuoma. But it's going to be the last character. It's going to be the last words. I just want to make sure it actually gets onto my video here. One moment here. Let me hop on Google. It's either Zuo Chi or Zuo Ma. It doesn't look like Ma because it's not that simple. And I just want to really be sure. It's Zuo, it's Zuo Chi. Okay. Oh, Zuo Ji. Zuo Ji. I thought it was Chi like uh to get on, to like ride a horse, to get on top of a horse. I believe you can also say that for a bike, like to mount something. It looks very similar. Uh, what I'm seeing in Google Translate, though, is Zuo Ji. Zuo Ji. Which just means to mount. I'm really trying to make sure now. So, uh, yes, yes. So I think this actually has two pronunciations. Cause I, I wrote I wrote Zuo Chi in Google Translate and it's giving me Zuo Chi. So I think that character Chi has uh two pronunciations. Ji he chi. Ji he chi. Okay. So that's eleven words there. HSK test. Yeah, uh, honestly, I, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like these videos they more so help me with my study. Uh, I have had ambition to get a really, you know, flowing YouTube going, like a a popular a pop a popular a popping YouTube. Um, it hasn't it hasn't really clicked yet though. I'm just making videos right now to continue forth my studies. And, you know, I feel like it'd be good to continue making videos so that if I do get in a position where I'm coming up with some really good ideas or I'm doing something really cool, then I'll already be making videos and I could go ahead and put them on YouTube and, and I can build a following that way. I can put out higher quality content that way. Uh, thank you for about uh, the 100 people that are subscribed to my channel. You guys have been I'm here for you know like a year and a half two years i do appreciate that um you were there before i went to china you were there before i started learning chinese yeah actually the first video i made on this channel was the like the second day i started learning chinese so shouts out to the polygot community and man rock with me because Cause of the languages, cause of the travel, and yeah, it, it should be worth it. It should be worth it. Languages, let's go.